Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more Stuart Little 2, and we're headed into the back alleys. So these cutscenes are way out of order, because the cutscene that just played was when Stuart and Margalo first met. Stuart was driving his car, and Margalo fell out of the sky, and landed in his car, and then the Falcon was chasing him. But yeah, anyways, we're now into Alleys and Gullies from Toy Story 2. So what's going on, Margalo? Well, hi, little O, Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard-to-reach items? I'll just start this off with a flyover, why not? That's where I need to go. I was just quoting Flick there, with it zooming in on the item. Anyways, I see zip lines across the alley. If we go up a, a, enough of them, we should be able to fight that spinning top boss. But seriously, this place really reminds me of alleys and gullies. So this is our first triple hint. Three face blocks in one place. Hope that helps, Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. Okay, I can also talk to Margalo over here. What's going on with you here? Well, hi, little O, Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard-to-reach items? What do you mean? Is this not the one I just saw? That helps you. Okay, that one was different. You're only as big as you feel. Why are they right next to each other? They they couldn't do a quadruple? Is that the issue here? They couldn't do a quadruple hint or something? I don't know, man. Anyways, let's just push this over. Since we clearly need to do that. Climb our way across. What are we picking up candy now? Okay. Fragile. Must be Italian. All right, before I slide down there, we climbed all the way up here. We might as well check out what's back here. It's a whole nother area, but you know what I really expect. What's with all these barrels full of toxic stuff? What's wrong with this place? That doesn't heal me up. That is a blue suitcase. I needed green. Ooh, what does this button do? Okay, that makes sense, but I see a spider in there. But we climbed all the way up here, might as well explore inside, and I'm glad I did, because it's our hidden ring. I have the hidden treasure! Yo-ho-ho, -ho, and a bottle of it! <laughs> Milk? Yeah. 
Okay, I'll head this way later. For now, I want to keep exploring here and make sure I have everything covered. Here's our clapper. Way to go, Stuart. You've collected the clapper board and unlocked a film clip in the gallery section. Okay, nothing else under the dumpster. I think we've got this section cleared, so let's keep going this way. What have you got to say, Margolo? How many blacks are in this area? Hi, little O, Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard-to-reach items? Well, I saw one black, which is probably what we're heading to. Oh, looks like there's a minigame over there with the car. Okay, yeah, that's the black I saw. So we've seen five blacks health, now. Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. We just haven't collected any of them. Like, literally any of them. Alright, so... We wanna not touch that Toy Story 2 slime. Which was also kind of in a bug's life, but this looks more like the Toy Story 2 stuff. We'll climb that area later. For now, let's climb this area. Oh my gosh, just hit him. There we go, and this is where we need all the face blocks. managed to get here without collecting any, even though we've seen five of the six already. <laughs> the thing is, a lot of these blocks require you to go backwards after you've climbed up an area. And it's like, I don't want to go backwards. This one doesn't seem like it'll take us back too far, though, so let's get this one now. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. Okay, I guess I gotta go back this way. I couldn't remember if I got that checkpoint, but I got it now. I almost ran off the edge because I forgot that holding R1 makes you run even if you're not holding the control stick. Anyways, let's check out this mini game. You'll have to use your car to go down this path, Stuart. It's far too dangerous on foot. Complete four laps of the track, picking up extra time as you go. If the timer reaches zero, you will fail the task. Okay, so this is like the boat one we did earlier. And the cones here are the same color as the buoys. Same as the Crash 3 buoys. Why is there a clock out of bounds? Can I actually get out of bounds on this track? Like in that third course in Ski Kids Racing in Ape Escape 1. Or like in that section in that one level of Crash 3 Warped where it's not actually out of bounds, but it really seems like it is. Is the track changing or something? 
I'm seeing these ramps, and I'm not seeing any way to get to them. I mean, here's a ramp. I've gone over some of them. Yeah, I think the track might be changing to have me go over different ramps. It's a little unclear. That's totally what's happening. Fantastic driving, Stuart. You're in pole position for sure. You've been awarded a jeweled ring. Go and collect it. That doesn't even go anywhere. I can see the end of the tunnel from here. Yeah, that's one more ring for the good guys. Okay, let's check out what's up this way. Give me those biscuits. Okay, there's the golden suitcase. We don't have the golden key yet, though, so we'll have to come back here. Hopefully the level is looping in on itself, so it's not that much of a pain to get back to the suitcase. Yes, we're back at the start of the level here. Well, if that's the case, then, well, first things first, I want to get up here if I can. Well, I failed that. Okay, so let's go and get this other face block that we could have gotten to but didn't bother going to. One where we've got to climb up here and then turn around to use the zip line. Hello, we can get to a little sneaky area over here we haven't been to. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. I mean, I can climb up that wall here. But yeah, I can sneak right on in there, or I can go for this ammo that I can't pick up. But I at least wanted to go for it anyways. Okay, so the last block must be in here. I also see the golden key. Hi, little O, Stuart. Do you need help to find the hard-to-reach items? Hope that helps, Stuart. And remember, you're only as big as you feel. I still can't get over the fact that everything about this screams Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Yeah, give me some of that health. I wanted to hop down here so I got a chance to explore a little. But it doesn't really look like there's anything down here except this little hole here. Not really sure where this is gonna go. Just gives me a way to get up a little, I guess. Which is probably important. Yep, that's important. Of course, I figured it would be. Now all I have to do is take the key to the golden suitcase. What an adventure this is turning out to be. 
You can't talk and grunt at the same time, Stuart. Clearly, there was an imposter Stuart talking there. Yes! I've done it! I've collected enough cat biscuits for Snowbell to trade with Monty for another ring! Now, where was that cat bowl again? Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. All right, so we just got a lot done there. And that golden suitcase isn't far away. And, you know, I might as well go here now. Even though I don't have all the biscuits yet. Yeah! That's one more ring for the good guys! I still don't want to leave the level until I have all the biscuits. But we might as well have picked up that rain while we were there. Don't need to heal anymore. Get out of here. There was bad stuff in that barrel, and it was open. Gotta watch out for that. How nice that the zip lines in this level don't electrocute you, by the way. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. Just had to bring up the zipline thing, because, you know, alleys and gullies. Anyways, we've got almost everything. We just need to clean up this room and then head that way for the golden suitcase and the face block room. And it looks like there's another balloon mini game over there. Excellent hunting, Stuart. You have found a face block. Okay, let's try this one out. Last biscuit is right there. There's no way I could miss it on the way to the block. You'll need lightning reactions to beat this challenge, Stuart. Okay, I gotta get 500 points again. Just like before. I assume this one's gonna be a little harder. Yeah, I missed the cans. And a balloon. Time bonus. I don't know what happens if I get hit. Darn you can. Ah, okay. Getting hit makes me lose points, it looks like. That's not a big deal, though. Die, fish! Ah. I wanted to kill the already dead fish. But I have been denied that opportunity. Denied! Okay, we're doing pretty well. Okay, I managed to stop that one. Good. Yeah, we're just about there. 
Oh, well, we were just about there. If I would have successfully hit that one balloon. But we're there now. Way to go, Stuart. You managed to score enough points to be awarded a jeweled ring. Yeah! That's one more ring for the good guys! That's all the biscuits. Oh, I rock! <laughs> that was the last face block to collect. So now, I can travel across them to collect a jeweled ring. Yep, and all the face blocks. So we should just have two more rings to get, right? The suitcase one and the face block one. Yeah, there we go. The suitcase is right over this way. On top of these boxes here. And if we keep headed in this direction, we should have a quick way over to the face block area. Call me Super Stuart! I only need one more jeweled ring to open a new level. Yep, and with that final ring, I could just skip the last level and go straight to the final boss, but I'm not gonna do that. We're going for a hundred percent here. So here we are. This is the room we wanted to get to. Now we just have to get up this section. These ones don't move. These jumps here are kind of reminded me of jumping across the gems for the secret ending in Crash 1. Ugh! It also kind of reminds me of that one part of Snowhead Temple where you can go up some really small invisible platforms in order to get to one of the great fairy pieces. One of the stray fairies. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I was on there. How could you do that to me? All right, come on now. Are these like spaced apart differently or something? They actually might be. What monster designed that? Okay. Now from here on, I don't really know how far Heart they are. Okay, that one wasn't too bad. I can't get the camera in a good position for this one. But that wasn't too bad. There we go. go Stuart. You've completed the level 100%. You'll have to visit Snowbell and explore more levels to continue the good fight. Hmm. Do I want to visit my old pal Snowbell? And that's another level down. They didn't say anything about me opening up the final thing, because I also finished the level at the same time. Not that I think they would have specifically mentioned that it's the final thing, but you know, whatever. Saving. Okay, so that cutscene was basically Stuart calling George over the phone and George asking Stuart a lot of questions because uh, George was supposed to be covering for Stuart as Stuart heads out and looks for Margolo in secret. But anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. 
In the next video, we'll do the last full level garbage barge, and we'll probably do Falcon Boss as well. Just cause, like, I feel like a boss fight won't take long. We merged the uh, training level with the downstairs video, so why not merge Falcon Boss with Garbage Barge? So yeah, we, we might be beating the game in the next video. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.